Jared Hudson, DuPont Pioneer Field Agronomist in Central Illinois. Coming at you with just a quick uh, planner overview for your first Agronomy Live video update. You know, the rainy pattern here either has guys held out of the field or maybe has you delayed a little bit. So we wanted to just go over a few last minute uh, planner tips of things to look at to make sure you're ready going into the season. One part of the planner we, you want to make sure you check, and not only check before the season, but even field by field, is your uh, row unit trash cleaners or your trash wheels. Uh, the reason you want to check those is because you want to make sure that if you don't have the free floating kind, that you are adjusting that height as needed field by field. What you don't want to have happen is doing basically a tillage pass with your row cleaners. They aren't meant to move a lot of dirt, just moving the the trash out of the way so that you get a nice clean trench is the point of these. Ideally when you're rolling through the field when you look back at your planter you don't want to see all the trash wheels rolling at one time you want to see them roll for a while maybe not spin for a little bit and then pick up again that way they are doing that job at moving trash but not really moving dirt out of the way. The next part we want to go over is your opening discs. Um, on a John Deere planter a new disc is a 15 inch diameter and if they get down to 14 and a half inches it's time to replace them depending on what planter you have case or Kinsey uh, those planters the discs are different size but pretty much the rule of thumb of a half inch wear before you replace is across the board depending on manufacturer and what you really want to have is your opening discs where they come into contact and pinch needs to be about an inch and a half to two inches and the easiest way to check that is to just take a business card and slide it in from the top until it stops then you can mark that point with some chalk and then do the same thing from the bottom side to where it hangs up and at that point you can check this gap here and if you're within that inch and a half to two inches you know that you're you're gonna have a, a good v-shaped seed trench when it comes time to plant. With staying on our row unit, the other thing to check is to make sure that your closing wheels are in line with your seed trench. And really about the easiest way to do this is to have your planter unfolded and lower it on concrete and pull it about five feet because your disc openers will leave a mark in that concrete and then you can check to see if that line runs right down the middle of your closing wheels. If it doesn't, you need to adjust your closing wheels. Another spot to check when you go to the field and have your planter ready to roll is your hitch height, making sure that your hitch is at the proper height to where your draw bar is level. Because what that's gonna do is affect your row unit. If your draw bar isn't level, you could either be running your, your opening discs too deep or too shallow, and that's gonna affect your planting depth. Thank you for taking time to watch the video today. As always, please refer to your planner manufacturer manual with any specific setting questions. And if you have any questions throughout the growing season or at planning, please contact your DuPont Pioneer sales rep.